Doms! Welcome to today's new lifestyle advice video. Today we're going to talk about how to stop pleasing others. And this video might be great for you if you feel like, oh, I'm always saying yes to basically anyone and anytime anything. Um, of course, it's great sometimes to help others even though you don't feel like it. But if you recognize that you're always saying yes, even though you should have said no, then this video might be great for you. So, I would love to talk with you about that today. I'm gonna explain why it's a problem to be a people pleaser and I'm gonna share some tips on how to improve this and how to be less of a people pleaser. Um, first of all, I would start with why we please people. Why do we do this? What's happening? <laughs> why do we have the urge to always say yes to others, um, to always agree with others, to always be there if others ask you to be somewhere. And we basically, I think the core thing here is that we all do this to be likable. We want others to think that we are likable, that we're great, that we're helpful, that we're cute, that we're nice. And we don't want others to think that we're not nice or we're not good friends or we don't do anything for others. So I think that's the core thing why we are people pleasers. And I think it's not always great to be a people pleaser for certain reasons. And first of all, you know, if you always say yes to others or things others want to do, or if you always show up if they want you to show up, then you don't have the time to do what you want to do, to get better in things that you're interested in, to learn some new things that you want to learn, to meet people that you want to meet. So if you always please others, then you're not listening to yourself. And that can be a problem for your own development, for your own self-worth, but also for the things you want to achieve, the things you want to do. Another reason is that you're not going to feel better when you say yes. If you say yes to everything someone else wants to do, for that little second, it's easy. Because you can just say yes, you don't have to say no, you don't have to explain why you say no. It's so much easier, right? But like 10 seconds later, you will already regret it. Because you're gonna do things that you don't wanna do, right? So for a split second, it's easier to say yes, but the rest of the time, the rest of the day, the rest of the thing you said yes to is gonna be a hard one. So think about the long term. Another thing is that if you're the person who always says yes to everything and anyone, people are gonna recognize. And people are smart, so people will, if they need something or if they need help or if they, want to go somewhere and they don't have anyone to help them or go with them, they're going to reach out to you because they know you're not going to say no. People will know that you're going to say yes and will actually kind of misuse your people pleasing. So that's another reason why it's even getting harder and why you're even probably getting more of a people pleaser because you said yes, people ask more questions and then you're going in that downward spiral, right? So I'm gonna share some tips on how to practice to get better in this. Choose a little bit more for yourself. The first great tip is to start practicing to do things just for what it is. You will see that a lot of people pleasers will also always want others to like them and others to, you know, approve what they're doing and thereby a lot of people pleasers love to share everything online or with friends or over message or whatever to get that approval that they want and if you catch yourself on like wanting to post everything on Instagram what you're doing what people might like what people might find beautiful everything like that then it's gonna be practice to sometimes maybe just do things for what it is without taking that photo without telling others so for instance take a bath and have a nice relaxing evening without posting the bath and placing it on social media with caption me time or self time or make a nice meal without taking a picture just for yourself not even to enjoy with others but like a lone dinner just by yourself because you like the meal and that might be a good practice to sometimes start practicing hey what do i like <laughs> and just do it for you to just practice to be stronger in your self-worth in your confidence and to do things for you because that's going to be the base here 
Then another big tip is to not say no without saying no. And what I mean here is a lot of people, you know, if someone asks you, oh, would you like to come tonight for dinner? They, they're not saying no. Sometimes they're also not saying yes, but they're like, oh yeah, yeah, maybe, let's see, I will let you know. But it will be so great if you can start practicing to right away say the word no. It's gonna save you so much energy, so much doubting, wondering, should I actually go, should I not? Should I just already said like, I'm gonna come maybe. Okay, we don't want that. You know, that's a lot of stress, a lot of thoughts, a lot of, it's even harder to after saying maybe to say no. So try right away to say, if you feel like, no, I'm, I can't make it or, or I don't wanna make it, tell them right away, sorry, tonight I can't make it, hopefully next time. Practice some, some like sentence you can use when people ask you out, when people ask things from you, to right away say no in a nice way. And the thing here is it's nicer for you because you don't have the whole afternoon doubting should I do it or not. But also it's nicer for the people, right? It's actually nicer to not always be a people pleaser, but to be honest. Because first of all, they probably want to be surrounded with people who really wanted to go for that dinner with them. But second of all, they expect you to come if you said, oh yeah, maybe, sounds fun. And then you're not coming and that's like an extra disappointment. So it's good for you, but it's also good for the other person. Another good tip is to tell the close people around you, hey, you know what? I found out that I have such a hard time saying no and that I get in trouble with my own time, the things I want to do. So if you tell the people around you, like your closest friends, your family, your partner, they gonna know that. And they will next time probably not even ask you if they know, oh, probably she doesn't even have time on Monday's evenings. Um, but also they're hopefully gonna ask you like, hey, I'm asking you this, but feel free to say no. And this is something I at least really do myself with my friends and people around me. Like I always give them a lot of freedom and a lot of space to say no. So what I would always say, like if I ask my friends, hey, who want to go for dinner on Friday night? Feel free to say no. I know we're all busy, um, but I'm just really wanting to see you girls, but it's all fine. If you're not there, don't worry, don't get yourself in difficult positions, it's good. And you will see that this is so freeing for everyone. They're gonna actually feel the freedom and the space to say, you know what, actually this Friday isn't the right timing for me, I'll text you another week. And it doesn't have anything to do with me. It's not personal and that's something to take with you as well. Like saying no, it's not because you don't like this person, it's sometimes just because you can because it's not the right timing and you have to spend time for yourself or invest time in something you want to do. Then I have two more tips left and one of them is if you really feel like hey I always want to say no to this person then maybe listen to that and say no. If you're gonna tell them oh sorry not tonight but let's see next week they're gonna reach out next week and you're gonna have the same problem and if you know this person, I don't want to do anything with, this is not my person, or maybe, I don't know, it's just not what you want, then just say no, but don't give them like the this next sentence like, oh, but maybe next week, because they're going to reach out to you again, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Only say maybe another time if you're feeling this, otherwise you're going to get yourself in another trouble position. <laughs> And then and the last one I think is a really great take home message. You don't have to be a people hater or something to not be a people pleaser. So I always say think more about being nice and supportive than being a people pleaser. It's, not, it's better for everyone. So be a supportive and nice friend instead of a pleasing friend. Be an honest friend, but don't forget to add yourself to this friends list. Because what we do a lot of times is we add all our friends to this list and we're all trying to be nice, supportive, even pleasing for these people, but we forgot to put ourselves on the list. So put yourself on this list and sometimes think, hey, I need to be nice and supportive to me because I'm one of the persons on the list. 
So give yourself a voice and an opinion that matters because that's the only way others are also going to see you like that. Others are going to see your worth, are going to see, hey, she has an opinion, she is great, she's smart, and she knows what she wants. And that, in the end, is confidence. And that's what we all want. So, yeah, I hope these tips about people-pleasing will help you a little bit along the way. And it was really great to catch up with you guys today. If you have any questions about people-pleasing, leave it down below in the comments. But also, if you have any tips on what you want to see on my channel or any other lifestyle advice you would like to have answered. Um, yeah, okay, guys, I love you. I sent you the biggest kiss. And I wish you a beautiful day. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my workout videos if you're not following that yet. Bye!